sharing a set of cards that you've produced with someone else is relatively easy uh, and can be done by exporting cards at the level of the deck. So you can see each deck has an option at the right hand side in which we can select export. And if I'd selected a higher level deck it would also um, actually export all the sub decks along with it as well as that structure. And usually you want to just export right down at the lowest level whether that be for a lecture or maybe for a, a topic set of cards. Um, you can export as an Anki deck package, which is what you'll most often want to do. Uh, unless someone is not using Anki, in which case you may want to export as text. Um, and there are two selections that you'll need to make. The first regards uh, scheduling information. And if you include that, it means the person will have to follow the um, review order that you've been following in your study. So if you've pushed a card out by six months, that person when they receive the deck, it will be pushed out for them by six months as well. So usually you don't want to include scheduling information, but you do want to include the media so that if you've inserted images into your cards, the person receiving them will also have those images there. When you select the export, you'll just have the option to save that to your hard drive. Importing cards from someone else is also relatively simple using the import function uh, from which you can select an Anki deck package and then bring that in. I won't do that in this case because I already have the cards in my set, um, but if you were to open it, it would process them and uh, include them uh, alongside the others. A couple of things to bear in mind when you're importing decks is that any tags that were included along with the cards will also be added to your tag list. Uh, so there may be tags that are in a different format to, um, to what you're used to and you may need to clear those out. Also each card in Anki has a unique ID. So if I'd exported a particular set of cards and given them to someone else and they'd added to that set of cards and then I'd imported it um, all of the new cards that they had created would be added alongside the ones that I have in my set. But if they also included some of the cards that I had originally produced, then any of the information that was on those particular cards will be overwritten with the, um, the data that they may well have changed for those cards when I bring it in. So it's possible that for particular cards that have the same ID, if you're bringing them in for, from an import function, it may overwrite those same cards if you already have them in your set. And finally, it's possible that uh, the cards that you've imported had the scheduling information uh, saved against them. And so I'll show you in the next clip how to reset the scheduling information for a set of cards that you've imported.